Yo, what's up? This is M Dog. And this is Russian Fishing 4. Look at that beautiful view here at Volkov. What I want to do in this video is really try to, in a succinct manner, uh, go over the gear that I think is the best gear to have when you're thinking about um, what to purchase as you are leveling. And I should say a caveat here. If you're going to have a bottom or feeder fishing, fishing focus to your character, to your account. Now, if you are just into spin fishing, or if you're just into float fishing, or you want to prioritize those two more than bottom and feeder fishing, then this isn't the video for you. This video is going to be my opinion on, I can't say the best, because even with all of these choices I'm going to show you, I could even talk myself into other options. There are definitely options. One of the beautiful things about Russian Fishing 4 is at this point we have so much variety, not, in the type of, not only in the type of fishing and all that, but also in the gear that's available. But I've spent some time thinking about it and looking at it and I've made a little slideshow of pictures to show you the gear that I think I, uh, if I was starting over with the knowledge that I have, which let's face it, I do that all the time, but I think this is the gear that I would prioritize at least getting uh, first. You might purchase other gear as you're going as well, but, but I would certainly try to prioritize this. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over the cost of things. There might be one or two places where I talk about the cost because in, in, especially in one choice I've made, it's clear that the rod is way too expensive and you should get a cheaper version. So I'm, I'm going to make an adjustment there as we're talking through it. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the cost because they cost what they cost. I think at every tier, the rod and reel that I'm going to show you is a really good value for what you're getting. The silver cost compared to other things, what other things cost, this is going to be a really good value. I'm also not going to talk a lot about the level requirement because let's face it, when you're a new player or a mid-tier player, you don't really need to worry about what level you are. Your level will come. What you need to worry about is saving silver efficiently, having fun most importantly, but also saving silver efficiently. And that's what I'm hoping that I can help some new players be able to do is get their eyes set on gear that they want to save for as they are progressing through the different stages and levels. So let's jump right in. I'm here at Volkov and there's a reason for that. You hit level 20, you can come to Volkov and for the first time, the world is your oyster, right? Everything is in stock for the most part at most times. Uh, before this, stock is an issue. So even as I'm showing you these choices, stock changes. One thing might be uh, available at Mosquito this week, but next week it may not, and then eventually the restock will happen. So even as I'm showing you these choices, you can use these as a guideline if you want to. Well, this particular rod wasn't available, but I can see that this rod is very similar, so I'll do that, even though it might not be the most ideal one. All right, so let's get started. Let's start working our way through this. The first thing I want to do is... Um, Start off with the very first thing you're going to purchase. Let me go ahead. I'm going to always be putting these in full sp full screen mode. So what I've done here, by the way, um, let's see. Sorry, I'm kind of on the fly here thinking about what we want to do. Maybe we'll do this for right now. No, that's not going to be good either. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. All right. So, I mean, one game we can play here, right? For all you uh, returning players, older players, players that have been around for a while, can you identify the rod and reel in this picture? All right, so I'm going to show you the first picture. So this is, this is the, to me, what you're going to purchase right out of the gate. You should have enough silver to basically get this set up as soon as you, le as so as soon as you log into the game as a level one player. Um, you should either have enough to get this or be able to get this very soon. Uh, and you'll hit those first few levels in like literally minutes if you are following a guide or kind of know what you're doing with, you know, targeting some fish. But 
this is what this is. This is the, uh, of course, the Express Fishing Sorrento Feeder 130 with the fishing spark. This literally costs almost nothing. Okay, but it gets you feeder fishing from the very start. And you see, I've gone ahead and, and equipped it with fairly appropriate line. Notice that even from the start here, I've got these mesh feeders. And uh, I'm going to show you how to put your rig together here in just a moment. But uh, from the start, if I'm bottom fishing, I like to go ahead and get in the habit of putting feeders on according to what fish I'm targeting. But for most fish, I like to have a feeder on with ground bait. And, um, but the, the Sorrento feeder 130 and the fishing spark 3000, is it great equipment? No, but it's very cheap and it gets you fishing more efficiently, even from the beginning. Cause you've got that feeder set up. Okay. So that's the first one. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and do this. If you pull out a rod and I'm going to assume that you're not using this as a guide on like, how do you play the game? Uh, I have put out other game, other guides, and in fact, I'm getting geared up to do a new leveling series. And so um, I will uh, hopefully start that series soon, and I will try to go over some of the very basics. But I did want to review this real quick. because there, So there's two things. In, in the game, I refer to rigs, and I use that word to mean two different things. First of all, I might say a rig as in the whole of my rod and reel and everything else that goes with it. This is my rig. I'm holding my rig, right? I'm not just holding a rod. I'm holding a rod that has a reel attached to it and all these other components, right? The other use of the word rig is for a feeder rod and other types of fishing, but we're talking about feeder rods in this video. You can change what type of rig you're using. So let me show you how to put one of these together. So if you buy a rod out of the store, this is what it's going to look like, right? And at, at, when you first start off all as feeder fishing, all you're going to be able to do is basic bottom fishing rig. But I did want to go ahead and show you, these are all the other rigs that are available. And as you level up your bottom fishing, you'll start unlocking new rigs. So uh, for instance, we might be wanting to make an inline rig, or we might be wanting to use a bait fish rig or a classic pop-up because we're going for carp or whatever. So let's go back to basic bottom though. When you buy your feeder rod, it's most likely going to start off on a basic bottom fishing rig. And now you can go down and you can see what are required components for me to be able to use this to fish with. Well, obviously we need a reel. We're going to put the Spark 3000 back on. We need some line. We'll put our line back on. We need a bite indicator. So we'll put some bells. We do need a sinker. You can put like a, you know, an inexpensive sinker on there. But like I told you with, with bottom fishing, even from the start, I like to go ahead and put these cages and some sort of ground bait. Uh, now you can use leaders, but at this level with this very cheap gear, you're probably not going to be using leaders. You'll just use the mono line. And then we're going to want a hook. We're low level, so maybe we use a 16 size hook, throw a worm on there. So this is our rig. We're using a basic bottom fishing rig, and that is how you put a feeder rod together. Okay, I just wanted to show that real quick since we're talking about feeder fishing in case someone has popped into this video that is really new and did not sort of understand how to put a feeder uh, a feeder rod together. Okay, so we went over the Sorrento Spark, which I did want to show that level. By the way, I would get at least two of those. Okay, let me, let me open that back up. The Sorrento Spark, this thing is very cheap. It doesn't have much strength, but you can go catch crucians and gibbles and common roach and, you know, a lot of the small fish species, you can handle it on this. And this will get you your early money. And I would get at least two of these right off the bat as soon as you can afford it. And then you can always float fish with your third rod. Because in, in Russian Fishing 4, you're wanting to always have three rods out to be efficient, uh, especially if you're bottom fishing. Okay, so where do you go from here? What's next after the Sorrento? Because this is going to be early, early game, but you're not going to want to stay there very long. All right, this is what I recommend going to next. I don't have one of these on, on this account, so I'm just gonna show you a picture from the store here. And then I can show you like the old, what the older version looked like, um, which I don't know if that's really helpful at all, but all right, this is the feeder fishing start kit. I don't know if this will be controversial that this is, this is what I would do, but I still like these starter kits. Now, the Lacerti reels that come with the Kama Comfort rods, they have been nerfed a little bit. 
the Lacerti ones were a little stronger, but I still think these can get the job done. You can, uh, with a little bit more strength, you will definitely be able to tell you've got more strength on this compared to the uh, Sorrento and the Spark. And with that additional strength, you can even start to target fish like Bream, maybe even Tench, but certainly Bream. And, uh, and, and so you're, when you get on a hot spot of Bream, for example, your silver per hour can go up significantly, you start saving up for the future gear that we're going to be talking about. So I still really like these kits. In fact, um, I will often, and what I'm going to recommend is that you use this kit all the way until the next set. Now, this is going to be a big jump several levels you're going to need to save up a lot of silver but you can do it just hit the cafe orders at mosquito sometimes winding eventually maybe even a little bit of fishing at old berg again getting on bream spots maybe tench if they're hot any of the small to medium sized fish you should be able to go after on with this bottom fishing setup and these if you don't know these these kits are sold in the store any store is going to have these kits you just unpack the kit and then you've got this setup here so it's really cool really nice and uh, I use that all the way up until the next one, which I'll show you now. I can look, we'll look at this kit real quick in the store. Uh, if you go to rods, we'll go to feeder rods. You see the fishing feeder start. I really like it. 149 silver. Um, when I start a new leveling series, which I'm going to do that soon, I believe. That's one of the things I'm doing right from the beginning. I'm saving up for my first one. Now, the question is, how many of these kits do you get? I think there's an argument to be made that you get three, but that depends on how long are you going to be using them. If you're going to be doing what I'm suggesting, which is saving all the way up into the next recommendation I'm going to have, then yeah, getting three is a no brainer. However, uh, let me show you an in between. So this is a bonus one, right? This is not what I'm officially recommending, but if you don't want to wait as long as I'm about to suggest, this is your mid tier. This is your mid step. This is the half step between the two steps I'm, I'm, I'm describing right now. The Adriatic of 5,000. So instead of 4 point whatever kilo, you're going up to 7.5. It's, it's a nice step. It's like a not a full step, half step. These are solid little reels. They're not always in stock everywhere, but they are solid little reels. So if you don't want to wait as long as it's going to take to wait for what I'm about to suggest the next step is, then this is going to be your best friend. And maybe you even put just one of these together, right? So like maybe you get two of those feeder start kits and then you get an Adriatica and throw it on, um, you know, whatever rod, feeder rod would be appropriate for you. In fact, let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you my next. So the full step, what I would recommend you get is I'm going to recommend you get two of these and again let's see if uh, people who have who have played this game a lot can can identify what this is I'll give you a second to look at it I love the way that reel looks and that is such a solid classic rod it, and to me this is just the classic early to mid game combo I still think they're worth getting some people skip over these now not me though and I'll tell you why in a second here's what it is this is going to be the Fortuna Feeder FD420. Look at this beautiful feeder rod. It goes up to 19 kilos. Relatively inexpensive for how strong of a feeder rod it is. And the Sabre 60 reel. Such a good reel. By the way, the new reels that are in the game now that are sort of the competition for Sabre 60s, the uh, Proton, Proton, is that what they call it? No, Pulsars. The new ones are Pulsars. They're red. I've used those too, and I like them as well. Some people are really negative about the Pulsars. I don't get it. I think they're good. I prefer the Sabre 60s slightly, but I think the Pulsars are still good. So if you run into stock issues on Sabre 60s, get the Pulsars. But here's what I'm suggesting you do is get two of these. These Fortuna feeders are going to be good feeders for a long time. They're flexible. You can use them for a lot of stuff. You might target bream with them. You might target even like smaller carp at times. Um, it's, it's, a really good flexible feeder rod that you can use for a long time. And these Sabre 60s are great. They're not only great for feeder fishing though, but they're great for something else. And this is where I'm going to take a slight U-turn, not U-turn, slight turn, and talk about something 
that is not feeder fishing. Because when you get to the level of, in which you have purchased the Sabre 60s, you're also at a place where you're probably so sick of fishing for bream and crucian and gibbles, and you're so sick of just going around at Old Berg, Mosquito, finding the hot spots, grinding out that silver, filling out those cafe orders. You just want to do something different. And that's where this comes in, okay? That's where you want to go to Cory Lake and start trolling. Now, this is the rod I was telling you about that, to be fair, this rod is way more expensive than, than you probably want to spend at this point. This is an almost thousand silver rod. So it costs about as much as the reel does. You can actually get away with a lot cheaper rod than that. But this Sabre 60 can not only be used, that's why I said get two of them, because you want to be able to troll Corey with two spinning rods. So this is not a feeder rod, obviously. This is a spinning rod. I love these Kama Mectas for, for trolling Corey. To me, this is just like the ultimate. Uh, it, it is so cool. Like um, I was going to pull it out so you can see it sort of live in game. Um, where's the one that's put together? This thing, so you can tell they're just really short, which means with trolling, it's very easy to flip the fish into the, into the boat. And these Saber 60s work great at Quarry for spin fishing. So if you're sick of feeder fishing, even if you're going to mostly do feeder fishing on your account and you're trying to build up to go for the big carp and stuff, don't hesitate to use your Saber 60s on a cheap spinning rod to troll at Quarry. You can make a lot of silver when Quarry's hot and it changes up the pace a lot. It makes it more manageable. Those like that because you're kind of getting to this point where it's going to be a more and more of a grind to earn the silver you need for the next steps in gear. And so uh, I really recommend considering doing that, even if your focus is, is feeder fishing. Now, here's the rod I would go with if you want to go really cheap. Let's say you want to be able to do that with your Sabre 60s. You want to go spin fishing by trolling quarry. And by the way, if you don't know what trolling quarry means, I've got videos on that, but it's basically you're pulling the lures behind a boat using your trolling motor going fairly fairly, um, fairly slow and uh, you catch a lot of fish doing that and you want to have two of them at the same time. One in each rod holder on the back of the boat. But this Express Fishing Heavy, this is a really cheap 248 silver. You just need two of them. Put your Saber 60s on there. Make sure you don't go over the load capacity. It's not an ideal rod for it. But I'm saying that you could do it. You could save so much silver if you know you're not going to do a ton of spin fishing, but you just want to be able to make some silver trolling quarry. That's going to be your cheap option. And these are short too. These work really well for trolling as well. So, and there's a lot of options. I mean, you can go up to the to the next the next one here. Uh, actually, no, that one's not good. The next one would be this one. Um, you know, you, you can spend a little bit more uh, and get. A little nicer spinning rod so you've got some options there but but to me you either get something cheap like the express fishing or you save up and get something a little nicer because you're if you're really into spin fishing okay now let's don't let's don't waste time let's go ahead and move to the next step um like i said i'd probably only get two saber 60s I don't know that I'd get all three because you could still, you, if you have two Saber 60s, let me go back to this other one. We can close this out. Let's say if you have two Saber 60s with your Fortuna feeders, right? Which is this one here. So this, we're back to feeder fishing with Saber 60s. If you've got two of these, you can still be using this bad boy, the feeder fishing start. This can be your third, your third feeder rod because you can still catch bream on this, right? I mean, really, you're getting the Saber 60s to make bream fishing more efficient and to allow you to, like, let's say you're, you're fishing for tench, but you accidentally keep hitting these, like, seven, eight kilo grass carp. Well, if you're using that Fortuna feeder one, then you, you're, not, you're not suffering as much. You're going to be able to get that grass carp in. But if you're using uh, the, the starter feeder kit, then that grass carp is just going to ruin your day. It's going to take forever to, to tire it out. It's going to be a pain. So 
I love the Sabre 60s. I think they're worth it. Yes, a lot of people are skipping them these days. People who are doing alt accounts are trying to do the most efficient leveling possible. They just keep saving and they go ahead and get what I'm going to show you on the next step. But I still think that these are such good reels. They're not that expensive and they make your life a lot better, especially if you're going to be trolling at Corey. I guess if you told me that you weren't going to do any trolling, you were literally just going to be doing um, feeder fishing all the way, then I would, crap, I just exited out of the game, then I would get it. But if you're going to be, um, if you're going to, let me get loading back in while we're talking. If you're going to be doing that at all, then I think it's totally, totally worth it. All right, let's look at the next step. Here's your, uh, here's your chance to see if you can recognize what the next step is. And it depends on how long you've been around. This is an, uh, a classic rod, so you might recognize the rod, but the reel is fairly new. And um, it is a great great value for this reel um i ha i you know didn't get to use it a lot because i was already well past this by the time they came out but i've gone back and used them on alt accounts i've even got one on my main account now and they really are great um so let's go ahead and am i loaded into the game yet probably not quite yet all right let's go ahead and take a look at what this is you've had time to try to guess so just to recap, we're, this is the step we're taking from Sabre 60, we're going straight to this. All right, now, this is the Fortuna Carp Rod 360XH with the Siberia Caliber HSV80, okay? Um, now, the step that this, what this, that what this reel, this reel is so good and what it has done, in my mind at least, it has made it less desirable to buy reels like the Alpha 8000, the Gold 80, some of those reels that you in the past would have been the natural next step. Even though the Caliber HSV does cost about 500 silver more than those, I think that's about right. It's to me so much better a reel, it is worth saving up and going straight to the Caliber. What the Caliber allows you to do is to start fishing for carp. Um, and and for how little it cost compared to the big carp rods, uh, carp, carp reels, it's amazing. Now, you don't have to use it on a carp rod. You could just get a really nice um, feeder rod. But to me, this is about the time when I want to start switching to focusing on carp rods. When, when I can get my calibers, I'm going to feel comfortable going to Bear Lake and fishing for those really big carp, which are gonna be worth so much XP and decent silver, or according to what level you are, you might feel comfortable going to amber even, fishing in the pond or fishing in certain certain spots at amber where you can sort of protect yourself. But you see, I've got this overloaded a little bit. I mean, we're, we're dealing with about 21 kilos of power here, at least according to the line. Um, you know, and this is a carp rig. We've got classic park carp rig going on this Fortuna carp rod with the Siberia caliber. Now, if you are into spin fishing, just like the Saber 60s, these calibers can be used for spin fishing. Maybe you wanna go trolling at Volkov, get a nice spinning rod and, and throw these calibers on there for that. So again, they are very uh, solid all the way around reels, but I love using them for carp fishing. You really feel those carp, but you also have a really good fighting chance against them. So it is nice, okay. So we did get loaded back in. In case we need to pop into the store again, I'll run up here real fast. Um, and that's really, I mean, once you can get, and, and by the way, as far as numbers go, I would go ahead and get three of these. I would go ahead and get three of these. These Fortuna Carp Rods, you'll use these for a long time. You can just about put any reel in the game on them comfortably. And, and you're gonna be catching a ton of carp on these calibers. So I would go ahead and save up and get three of these personally. Because if you are mostly into feeder fishing and you're wanting to build up and get like the ultimate carp rigs, 
then what you're going to purchase after the calibers is going to take a ton of time to grind out that much silver. And so because that's the case, you might as well have three of these really nice carp rigs um, that are value picks at a decent price, um, but you're getting enough power to start really going after the fish you want to catch. So to me, that's the thing to do. Now, let's, uh, let me show you the last step. So the last thing we're going to be looking at is basically the ultimate carp rigs. Um, it's my favorite carp rig, I think. Uh, and it's, it's going to take a long time to get there, but once you have it, it is awesome. Um, and again, I'll give you a minute in the picture to look to see, uh, the real, it, I mean, a, a, all of it is super expensive. It's going to take you a long time to save up the amount of silver you need to purchase this. But once you've got it, you've kind of got the, the ultimate, the ultimate carp rig. So, um, I would, I would get three of them again. It's going to take a long time, but that's what I would, my, my goal would be. Um, I actually have two of these and then one other that's very similar, but the other one I got first and, and then found out how much I liked the, the, this specific setup. Okay. Well, let me show you what we're talking about here. This of course is the Kingfisher Avalon, which is another carp rod and the beautiful Beluga Tagara 10,000 huge spool tons of power you can go all the way up to your 36 kilo carp um carp rig you can go after those huge leather carp at amber and have no problem tiring them out and getting them in just just the perfect perfect carp rig uh in my estimation and it looks great too it really does i love these things they are nice to look at so to me that is the ultimate uh, carp rig and we can take a look at that in game let me see if I have that one is this the right one yep here it is and it is just a nice looking carp rig and this is sort of your your final destination as far as I'm concerned for having the ultimate carp fishing rig now if you're going for some of the huge fish like the you know trophy sturgeon and stuff like that it's doable with this but at that point you might be saving up for the vingas which are uh i mean these are expensive vingas are crazy expensive so anyway th this is a beautiful rig i really love using this it's it's uh, i've caught a lot of carp on this and to me it's sort of the ultimate carp setup um now i do want to mention one thing sort of an in-between reel and I, I don't know that I would really advise people to do this, but if you don't want to save up for that Tagara, um, because let's be honest, it is expensive and I can show you how much it cost here. All right. So we're talking about 17,771 silver here at Volkov. That's the reel we're talking about right there. Now that is a lot of silver. So if you want a half step, let's just say you're like, okay, I, I don't, I'm, I don't play enough. I'm, I'm probably not going to ever save that much, but I want something a little stronger than the caliber, which here's the caliber I was showing you. Look, 2,600 silver. I know that may seem like a lot if you're new, but for the power, the, I mean, the, the, it's just such value for this to be less than 3000 silver at Volkov for this caliber. But let's say you wanted a half step to me, the answer for, uh, for half step, if you're specifically focused on carp fishing is going to be the Avia. Um, again, really good value at 8,400. I like it a lot. I, it's just so much silver because at that point you're halfway to the Tagara basically, right? And the Tagara is definitely a better reel. So if you just, you know, if you don't want to go all the way to Tagara, maybe you want to fill those carp a little more. You don't want to be overpowered. You want to just be underpowered a little bit and have to fight them a little more. The Avia, I, I have used it a good bit for carp fishing. I actually think it's a really nice reel. Like the difference in this and your HSV caliber is huge. It really is. I mean, as much as I love these calibers, when you get to an Avia, you are, uh, you're at a different level of, of fishing. But again, the Avia is, is nothing compared the, to, to the Tagara. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't say nothing, but, but this, the Tagara 
I mean, come on, this thing, this is where it's at, you know? Okay, so that's it. That's what we're doing today for this video. We're talking about the equipment you need, uh, I hope that this has been helpful. I, I mean, you know, if you're new to the game and you're trying to figure out what's my plan, maybe you're somebody that likes to plan it out. Maybe hope, hopefully this video is helpful. You can go through and kind of pause it, take notes, or just remind yourself at times. Uh, I think that the line through this gear that I've kind of shared with you, if you imagine a line going from starting all the way back down at the spark and ending with these um, ending with these, uh, Tagaras. This is a good line to take. It's basically five steps. It's the Sorrento spark combo, the feeder, the feeder kit, uh, beginner. That's the second step. The Fortuna feeder saber 60. That's the third step. And then I showed you the little side step there with the spinning, so you can go troll at Corey. The fourth step is the Caliber Fortuna Carp Rod and the Caliber HSV. And then your final step is the Kingfisher Avalon Beluga Tagara. So it, it, the nice thing about this plan is you're only buying gear five times. And yes, it gets more and more expensive. Yes, each, each step takes longer and longer to save for. Um, and you may... You know, you, you should do whatever's fun for you. So you may take half steps. You may spend more time spin fishing. You might do float fishing. You might, you know, there's, but if you want to just kind of keep your eye on the prize in terms of a good plan of getting through the gear so that you can have a good time efficiently fishing for the different species available in RF4, then hopefully this will be helpful for you. Okay, I know that if you are a longtime player and, and maybe you're a supporter of my channel or my stream, you may stumble upon this video and you may have thoughts of your own. I'd love for you to share those. Again, like I said before, this is not necessarily, this is not the right answer at all. This is just an answer that has been tested that I've got experience with and that I think is a good one. But at every step, there are arguments to be made for other choices. This is kind of where I land at this point, making these choices, but you may have different thoughts. And some of it is going to be determined by how long you want to be saving for. Um, you know, I've tried to balance feeling like you're always working towards a, a doable upgrade all the way to the end. But, you know, if you're really patient, you may skip a step or two. If you're really impatient, you may need to get upgrades more frequently and just know that you're going to have to earn a lot more silver over the course of time to be able to afford um, some of the late, late game gear. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. I'm really playing with the idea of starting a leveling series, hopefully soon. I feel like um, there are probably enough new players in the game since the last time that I did a leveling series that it might be fun to get in there with some of you lower to lower mid-level guys and gals and, uh, and start a new series. But we'll see. I haven't made definite plans yet, but I feel like I'm kind of on the verge of maybe starting one of those up. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please let me know if it was helpful or if you have suggestions, feedback, ideas of your own on the uh, gear progression for leveling your bottom fishing. Um, but for all of you tight lines, good luck and peace out.